So you're out taking photos in a place you've never been before, and all of a sudden, you realize that number one, you're out of battery, number two, you have no way to charge said battery, and number three, you really have no way to back up your phone. Now, that can be an issue if you're in a place that you've just spent a lot of money on to go, especially if you're a photographer, and that's why in this video I'm gonna be talking about two things you probably never really thought of that you needed to get for your landscape photography. And if you're new to the channel, we help you solve problems like this for your landscape photography to help you become a better photographer and a more prepared photographer as well. My name's David Johnson, and look, I really make these videos because I've been in these situations before. I've gone backpacking, I've gone places and, and been fortunate enough to go places that I have only dreamed of going. But to go to these places, you also have to be prepared. And I've learned this the hard way because I've been unprepared, I've lost photos, I have unbacked up photos that have gone away forever that just haunt me in my nightmares. You don't want to be me in the past. And I make these videos because I think this can really help you and add value to your photography because I don't want you to make the same mistakes that I did. I want you to be a better prepared photographer and somebody who knows what they're getting into when they go out into the field. So number one, you need something to be able to charge your batteries. And this is the first thing you probably never really thought of when you were buying photography gear. And that is a battery charging bank, a power bank, if you will. So this is one from Biolite, and it's one that I've used, and this is one that I really like too. Um, and I'll link all these affiliate links down in the description of this video too, if you wanna check these out for yourself. So why I like this one, number one, it's very small and lightweight. Usually with like power banks, a lot of times they're, comparable to this size, like this isn't some revolutionary size or anything like that, but the weight of these, these BioLite ones, are pretty phenomenal. Um, I've never really used one like this before that was so lightweight. Um, and also the design of it I really enjoy because I can easily just slip it into a camera bag and you can see the width and the length it really doesn't take up that much space. This is the biggest of the three models of these, this BioLite, and what I like about it is the size, but if you wanna go even smaller, they have two more options for you to go even smaller with your power bank as well, and those would most likely be a lot lighter than this one too. So it has two USB outlets. I can easily charge my phone, I can charge my camera, I can charge my camera batteries and, and anything that goes along with my camera. And it also has a USB-C that helps me charge my iPhone. So I can easily do a USB-C with my iPhone and then charge like two cameras at the same time with this. And it does really well. Even my laptop, like you can charge a 13 inch laptop on a single charge. Uh, before being out of power. The, one of the biggest features that I like on this, and before I get to the things that mm, they could maybe improve upon, is this little button right here. If you click it, it tells you how much power is left in the battery charging bank. Uh, and I, I really like that, because the ones I had in the past didn't really have a good read. I just want to click a button and be like, oh, it has half a charge, or it has a full charge. I want my power bank to be able to do that. Now, for somebody who, like, like me and like you, and, and you know, you've gone out into the field and rain and mud and cold and heat, us landscape photographers know that world. I, I wish this was a little bit more durable feeling. Uh, to me, while the size and the weight is really good, the material on the outside doesn't feel super durable. Now, I haven't had any issues with it or anything like that, but it's just very plasticky feeling, and I've had some in the past that were a lot more like metal feeling or, or had that material on the outside. I'm not like an engineer or anything, so I don't know what they're made out of, but just feeling it, like it's a little bit slippery, uh, it's a little bit like plasticky, and that probably has something to do with this feels much lighter than the other ones that I've used. So all in all, of all the ones that I've used in the past, I really like this BioLite power bank. The second thing, you need to back up your photos. And we just talked about durability. Um, this is 
probably the best external hard drive that I've ever used in my entire life. This thing is an absolute beast. And again, I'll list it down in the video description as well. Uh, but this G backup external hard drive is phenomenal. Metal pretty much on the outside, um, pretty much indestructible. Like even in, has a no slip outer covering on it. Even in like the product description and the video examples, like they're driving a truck over this thing and it's not breaking. My old external hard drive was one terabyte and about the exact same size as this one and was very plastic. I mean, I wouldn't take it outside with me if my life depended on it. This one instead um, is same size, two terabytes, and I wouldn't be worried taking this out into the field or anything. Everything is weather sealed and the flap to actually get into the uh, external hard drive is very sealed as well with this rubber material. It's also pretty lightweight. So I like lightweight packing in my camera bag, doing things like that. So really, really valuable equipment that you need to have. Again, BioLite, power bank, and this G external hard drive should be added to your camera bag like yesterday. If you're using any power banks or if you're using any external hard drives, let me know what you think of these two products if you're interested in them. Uh, I use them, I love them, and I've found that they work best for me and my photography, but I'd love to hear what you're using.